Hello and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today I have a few updates for you from the Royal Mint and also a few commemorative 50ps to pop in the albums. So without any further delay, let's get on with the show. Hi, how is everybody today? As I say, I'm going to be starting today's video with a few updates from the Royal Mint. And, uh, and first of all, it's a bit of an update with the Dumbledore Silver Proof, which uh, many of you may still be waiting on from the Royal Mint. Now, I've spoken to the Royal Mint today, and what they've confirmed to me is uh, there are still a backlog of 1600 Dumbledore silver proofs that they need to mint. Uh, they've also confirmed that they're going to be minting them as of the 8th of May. Uh, so if you are still waiting for your silver proof Dumbledore, uh, there is unfortunately still a little bit of a wait left on that. Uh, and you, it looks as though you'll now be receiving those some point towards the middle of May. Okay, so secondly, as I confirmed on Sunday's stack chat, uh, we are waiting on the release of the coronation set for King Charles III. Now, again, the Royal Mint have confirmed to me today that the coronation coin set is going to be released for sale as of the 24th of April at 9am. So if that is a set you are looking to, and you do want to make sure that you get your name in early to ensure you receive a coin, I would definitely recommend being on the Royal Mint website, 9am Monday, as that is when the coin is going to go on sale. And, uh, and finally, I've spoken to them about the latest Myth and Legend series, just due to the fact that they haven't released Merlin as a bullion coin as of yet. Now, the spokesperson at the Royal Mint has advised me today that they've got no confirmation that it is going to be released as a bullion, but they do believe that it will be. So if it, if you did purchase the Arthur bullion, then that's, that's good news, and it looks as though they are going to continue the series as a bullion coin, as well as a silver proof and brilliant uncirculated £5 coin. Excellent. So with that out of the way, as you can see in front of you, I've got a couple of albums here. Now, uh, I don't think I've brought the Beatrix Potter album for show on the album I was with yet. So that's uh, that's something new for today. But if, uh, if you look here, I've actually been able to obtain a few coins for the album. Uh, I've also recently... I'll show you this very quickly. I've, uh, I've obtained the triathlon coin for the 2012 Olympic series, which is quite a nice coin to have. Actually, it's one of the uh, it's one of the rarer coins of the series. So that's definitely a nice uh, a nice coin to add to the collection. Uh, I believe I've got around five of the Olympic 50ps now. So I'm going to have to purchase the album at some point soon to start getting those in. So bear with me on that one, and hopefully we'll be doing another video sh soon with me popping the few Olympic 50ps I have up to yet into that album. Okay, so uh, if you look at the coins I do have here, okay, we've got the first one is the 2019 Britannia. Now, the reason I've purchased this coin is because it's one I, as I've said in previous videos, with it being a Britannia, I do always forget to look for the coin in the um, in the hunts. Unfortunately, I didn't even have a chance to look for key dates in the, in the last one. I had to get the uh, coins back down to the bank uh, to get the next bag ordered. So uh, that, that was unfortunate, but uh, I'll try and be a little bit more organized going forward to make sure that's done. One thing I will show you is uh, a, a good way to identify the 2019 coin quickly is it uh, it is a coin that says new pence on there because it was a commemorative coin to commemorate I believe 50 years of the 50p uh, and therefore they used the old style writing on there as, as you know the uh, the original the original decimal coins all were released with new pence on them for a period of time so I purchased that but I didn't only just purchase that and I do want to very quickly show you another coin I have here because I have also very recently, now this one uh, this one was a gift actually from my father. So thank you very much for this one, Dad. Um, as you can see, this is again the 2019 Britannia 50p coin. However, this one's a little bit different and a lot rarer. Because as you can see here, this is the 2019 Britannia 50p, but it's for one with a privy mark. So if you can see right just there, there's, there's a dot next to the, where it says 50 at the bottom. That's a privy mark. And another way to show these coins is they've they've got lettering. It's very difficult to show on here. So yeah, I was uh, I was very kindly gifted this coin, uh, but I felt it's a little bit too good for the album with the, being the, the very limited privy mark version of the coin. Uh, so what I did is I obtained this one from a change checker. I believe it cost me something about like a pound or a pound fifty or something like that. So uh, uh, definitely something I'm, I wasn't 
too bothered about paying for that one. So we'll get that in the album in a moment. Here we have, and this was another gift from my father. So again, thank you so much for this one, Dad. He's given me a Jemima Puddle Dork, which is brilliant because although I do have it for the original Beatrix Potter album, I don't have it for the general 50p album. So that's definitely one we can pop in today. And, uh, and finally, I've... <laughs> finally been able to obtain the 2018 Mrs. Tittlemouse. Now this one has eluded me for quite some time. Uh, it's one that one of my friends had in his collection and uh, he knows how much I love the uh, Commemorative 50Ps. So after some time he's, uh, he's, he's very kindly gifted this to me which was uh, absolutely amazing of him. It wasn't technically a gift. I made a, a small deal with him because he's a collector of uh, of wartime memorabilia he's got an amazing collection and I, I i'm hoping at some point in the future i'll be able to show a few of his pieces on my channel because he really has it, it, his house is a bit of a museum really it's amazing i love it every time i go around to see him but uh, anyway long story short what i've done is i've agreed to give him a run of world war one wartime pennies so that's uh I believe 1914 through to 1918. So um, as you know from previous videos, I do have a large amount of the old pre-decimal pennies. So I have agreed to uh, to look into obtaining him some uh, some wartime pennies and I have given him a couple of shillings as well because he, he just wanted to have a, a shilling for his collection. Uh, so the, it, it was a bit of a barter on this one, a bit of a trade, which I was more than happy to do because I, as I say, I have been looking for little Mrs. Tittlemouse here for quite some time. Okay, brilliant. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the Beatrix Potter album. Here we go. Let me just get this open for you. So as you can see, I am get, definitely getting there with the album. Uh, we'll go through the coins individually very quickly. Uh, the original series was uh, a five coin series, and that consisted of the Beatrix Potter coin, the 2016 Peter Rabbit, the 2016 Squirrel Nutkins, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, and Jemima Puddle Duck. The 2017 Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, Jeremy Fisher and Tales of Peter Rabbit, uh, which was a four coin series. And then in 2018, it was a another four coin series, which was the Mrs. Tittlemouse, 2018 Peter Rabbit, 2018 Flopsy Bunny and the 2018 Taylor of Gloucester. So that being the case... We now have the album fully completed all the way up until and including 2018, which leaves just the remaining two Peter Rabbit's there, which is the 2019 and the 2020, which were single releases, and they only did it for the Peter Rabbit on those years. And I also believe they weren't actually placed into circulation. So it's probably going to be a case that I'm going to have to buy those coins as well. Um, they Last time I looked, I think the uh, the 2020 Peter Rabbit was going for around £50 and the 2019 Peter Rabbit was going for about £25. So I'm going to, I'm going to wait to see if the price comes down a little bit on those or um, you never know, you might get exceedingly lucky and find one in a hunt. But as it stands with the uh, Beatrix Potter album, as you can see right there, the only two we have left outstanding are the 2019 and 2020 Peter Rabbit. Bits. Okay, brilliant. So let's get that one closed back down there. Hopefully we'll be getting it back out soon to pop one of those uh, remaining two coins in. As I say, I do like to keep all my albums in these plastic covers just to keep them a little bit safer and uh, just keep them out of the air to, to prevent toning and corrosion of the coins. So that's brilliant. That's, uh, that's that one done. So next up, we have the Great British's 50p coin collection. Now, if you recall, we did a video of me placing the coins I already had into this album, which is, uh, as you can see right here, starting to get somewhere. Now, we've got, we've got the most of the first page full and a few of the second page. Now, a lot of the second page, I do believe, were not for circulation. As you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I, in fact, it'd be easier for me to see if any were in circulation, actually. Um, no. No, it hasn't got... Uh it hasn't got circulation figures for any of them. So it's going to be a bit, bit it's, a, it's a bit more of a difficult page, this one is. I'm probably going to have to purchase uh, a few of these coins, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, we'll get them for the album at some point soon and we'll get them popped in. I, I'm also noticing that they do have non-applicable for some of the ones that were definitely in circulation. So I'm not sure what's happening there. It's probably probably just released the album before the mintage figures were available. So um uh, but I do again I do know a, a good number of the coins weren't circulative coins. They were commemoratives for collectors only. 
Okay, so brilliant. Let's have a look here. So the first one we've got is the Jemima Puddle Dog, which is right here. And this will complete the 2016 album for the book. So without any further ado, let's pop this one right there. And it looks as though I'm just going to try and keep my fingerprints off the coin. There, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's now in the album, looking good. We have the whole of the 2016 in the main album, uh, all of the 2017s and half of the 2018s. So we'll keep hunting them down and hopefully we'll have another video coming up soon where I get to put some of those in the album for you. And finally, we now have the 2019 50 years of the 50p. So as I can say, this is coming in a change checker package. So I'm just gonna pop it out of there. Okay, if I can, here we go. There we go. Now let's have a look. I'm gonna to have to. Uh, I've not actually purchased one of these chain checker coins before, so I'm not sure how you get them out. Uh, okay, it looks like uh, I figured it out here. We're just gonna to have to peel it. There we go. And there we go. Okay, I feel a little bit bad damaging it. It looked really good in there, but. As I say, we do want it for the album, so we are going to have to take it out. It is in absolutely perfect condition. So let's just pop him out of this plastic here and straight into there. And uh, we'll, again, we'll try not to uh, to actually touch the coin because this one is in brilliant condition. So let's just line him up and I'll just pop him in like that. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, now that's uh, that's in there nicely there. Okay, so again, not a massively long video today, uh, but maybe hopefully that's answered some of your questions if you're waiting for some coins from the Royal Mint. Um, and uh, and if you're a fan of the 50Ps, hopefully that's been a little bit of fun for you there. Uh, I'm going to have to get down to the bank to pick up my next bag of 50Ps. It's been a, I, I ordered them a little while ago and I've completely forgot to go down and get them, so I'm not sure if I'm still going to be able to get that bag it's probably the case that uh, that's gone now i'm gonna have to order another one so it might be a week or two until i can get another bag of 50ps from the bank uh, but definitely work bear with me with that because i do really enjoy doing the hunts and i'm uh, i'm massively looking forward to to doing another one with you all soon okay so that being the case i think that's pretty much all for me today thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video today it, i do very much hope you've enjoyed the video but and if you have please do me a favor if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and uh, and give the give the video a like these things really do help small channels like myself out and i would massively appreciate it and other than that if you would like to let me know what your favorite commemorative p is on the comments i'd be uh, i'd be really interested to know uh, I think m with mine, m my favourites are prob probably the 2006 Victoria Cross medals, uh, one of which I've got in silver proof, the medals. Uh, I'm looking to pick up the heroic axe in silver proof as well. I do like both of those coins. Uh, but that being said, there's, there's a lot of great commemorative coins and a lot that I like. I'm a big fan of the pre-decimal coin uh, that they did celebrating the pre-decimal -de coinage uh, that's quite a new commemorative coin uh, i think it came out within the last couple of years so uh, I, it's not one i've actually seen in person as of yet but i am a big fan of the design that's probably it for me for today i hope you've had a little bit of fun with this video and uh, until next time as always keep stacking take care and goodbye